Welcome to episode 9 of Flipping Economics. In this episode, we will look at the market structure perfect competition. There is an assumption that firms seek to maximize profits. Total revenue from the production and sales of a product are determined by the quantity sold multiplied with the price of the product. It is important to observe that the price of the product depends on the market structure. In this episode we are going to look specifically at the market structure of a firm in a perfect competitive market. Perfect competition. Perfect competition occurs when none of the individual market participants, for example buyers and sellers, can affect the price of the product. The market price is determined by the interplay of supply and demand and all participants must accept the market price. If a perfect competitive market exists, the following conditions are in place. A large number of buyers and sellers. No collusion between sellers. All the goods sold in the market must be identical. Complete freedom of entry and exit into the market. All buyers and sellers must have complete knowledge of the market conditions. No government intervention. And the production fraction should be maneuverable. Examples of perfect competitive market include those of most agricultural products such as wheat, corn and livestock. Markets for basic metals such as gold, silver and copper are also an example. Again, there are so many buyers and sellers that the actions of any one cannot influence the market price. The market price cannot, for example, be influenced by one farmer or one mine. The demand for the product of the firm. Under a perfect competitive firm, the price of the product is influenced by supplier and demand. The individual firm is a price taker and will sell any quantity at the given market price. No firm will charge a higher price than the current market price because then he would lose all his customers. Again, price is determined by supply and demand. For example, if the market price for a ton of maize is determined in the market by supply and demand at a price of 3,000 Rand per ton, Every maize farmer will sell maize for 3,000 rand per ton. If the farmer sells his maize for 4,000 rand, 1,000 rand higher than the market price, no one will buy his maize since the client can get the maize for 3,000 rand everywhere else. Under a perfect competitive firm, the individual firm faces a demand curve that is horizontal at the prevailing market price. The curve is the demand curve for the product. In a perfect competitive market, firms in this market are price takers, therefore take it or leave it. In class, we will look in more detail with regards to market prices. Next episode, we will look at the market structure, monopoly. Welcome to episode 9 of Flipping Economics.